episode two. Today we're going to be making Oreo balls, and these are going to be a birthday gift for my great friends, Andre and Viviana. I love you guys. So let's get started. We're going to start by blending our Oreos in a blender to just get them all chopped up. Come on over here, Scott. I used to do this in a bag. I used to do this in a bag with like a mallet. Stop it! With a mallet and like banging them and scratching them, but that just took way too long, so now we're gonna go with a blender. And I think it'll be easier. Thanks for the views. Okay, we're gonna blend our Oreos in a blender. Might be kinda loud. I don't really know how well this is gonna work. Let's go. Hey, that was pretty, that worked pretty well. Look at that nice crumbled texture. Let's transfer this to the bowl. And we're gonna do a double batch because why not? And they're really good. Ooh, that worked really well. There's some chunks. Don't touch them. But little chunks never killed anyone. So, looks good. Let's blend the rest of our Oreos. Hopefully this bowl will be big enough. Those chunks. Okay, now we have this big bowl of crushed Oreo. It's delicious. So our next step is to put in our cream cheese. Now this may sound kind of gross, but I promise once it's all mixed together, it tastes so good, so rich. Basically tastes like really dense Oreo ice cream. It's delicious. So we're just gonna put our bricks of cream cheese in there right now. And we're doing a double batch, so two things of Oreos and two things of cream cheese. And if you don't know, an Oreo ball is basically, so it's like the Oreo mixture with the cream cheese, rolled into a ball, and then dipped in chocolate on the bottom. And they're really delicious. And yeah. I'm just getting my cream cheese out of the container. As you know from my last video, I struggle with containers and, and packages. Like, I struggle with like, getting the cheese out, but this is another cheese, but I am I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, that beauty. Actually, it's pretty disgusting, but I'm going to just pop that in there. Yum. Throw this away. And this is just our classic brick cream cheese. That's the best kind to use. Don't use whipped cream cheese. Okay, now we're going to mix the Oreos in with cream cheese. Break it up into a bunch of pieces, get it all coated in. This part takes a while, so we're gonna head, a, head go ahead and fast forward. Okay, so I've mixed the cream cheese and Oreos together. This is what we got. Now I'm just gonna form it into balls. I made sure to wash my hands, so I'm gonna use my hands, but I washed them, so it's good. And yeah, we're just gonna form them into like little small balls, maybe around this size, maybe a bit bigger. And then I put gonna put them on plates that I already put tin foil on and we're gonna just make these until I use all the dough and then we're going to Scott stop eating nerds <laughs> and then we're gonna put them in the fridge to let them harden and then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna dip them in chocolate so I'm just gonna make all these and I'll be back when they're all finished Okay, so they're all done. Rolled them onto balls. Just gonna put them in the fridge. Hopefully the fridge is not too crowded. It definitely is because we've stocked up on a lot of food because it's quarantine time. So let's try to make some space. I'll be back. Okay, so they're in the fridge. Just gonna let them cool in there for a bit and wait till they're hard enough to dip in chocolate. Okay. So the Oreo balls are in the fridge, they're just cooling, but in the meantime we're going to melt our chocolate chips. So we're going to melt them in the microwave, which can be a bad idea sometimes, but if you do it for 10 second intervals, it works. So let's just get... These are grand chips, they're pretty big actually. But 
Just do count some. I'm gonna do ten second intervals. Let's count one. I missed. Okay, so here we have our chocolate chips, and we're gonna melt them. And it's melted. So we got our melted chocolate here. And now we're just gonna dip the Oreo balls in them. Let me get them in the fridge. Now this is the kind of messy part of the process. We're basically just gonna dip every Oreo ball in the chocolate, just on the bottoms, and yeah, just like this. And place them on here, and then once we're done, we'll put them back in the fridge. Beautiful. Live from CNN News. Action. Okay, so I dipped all the Oreo balls in chocolate, and we're just gonna put them in the fridge. Put the chocolate to harden, and then they'll be ready to eat. Ooh, they look yummy. Yum. Wanna try one, Scott? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, whole thing in your mouth? Good? Okay, I'm trying my Oreo ball. Delicious! Okay, here they are. Close-up view. Look good. Now we're just gonna put them in a box and then deliver them to Andre and Diana. The balls are all packaged up. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for part three. Bye. Oh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so the Oreo balls are in the oven. They're just cooling. Right now Give me the beat, boys, to free my ready? soul. Shh. I'm recording. Okay.